Good evening, young time travelers. Welcome to Bedtime Time Travels, the podcast where we journey through time to explore the incredible lives of extraordinary people. Tonight, we're venturing into the wild heart of Australia to meet a man who became a hero to animals and people all around the world. Steve Irwin, the Crocodile Hunter. If you're as passionate about adventure and wildlife as we are, please show your support by leaving us a 5-star rating and a positive review on your favorite podcast platform. Your feedback lights the path for more young explorers to join us on these magical bedtime journeys. Now, back to our story. Steve Irwin was born on February 22, 1962, in Essendon, Australia. But his story truly begins with the opening of the Queensland Reptile and Fauna Park, founded by his parents. Growing up in a world surrounded by wildlife, Steve developed an early and profound connection with animals. By the age of six, he was already handling crocodiles under his father's supervision, setting the stage for his future as a fearless wildlife conservationist. Steve's passion for animals was matched only by his enthusiasm for sharing his knowledge with others. He took over the management of his family's wildlife park in 1991, which was later renamed Australia Zoo. But it was the launch of the television series The Crocodile Hunter that catapulted Steve and his conservation message to international fame. Alongside his wife Terry, Steve embarked on countless adventures, wrestling crocodiles, rescuing endangered animals and educating the world about the importance of conservation. Steve's mission went beyond the screen. He was a passionate advocate for wildlife conservation, using his platform to speak out against habitat destruction and the illegal wildlife trade. Steve's work helped to protect countless species and habitats, inspiring a new generation of conservationists. Tragically, Steve Irwin's life was cut short in 2006 when he was fatally injured by a stingray while filming in the Great Barrier Reef. Yet, his legacy lives on through the continued work of the Australia Zoo, the Steve Irwin Wildlife Reserve and the countless lives he touched with his message of conservation and love for all creatures. Steve Owen's family was at the heart of his work and his legacy. Married to Terry Raines, an American naturalist he met in 1991, the couple shared a deep commitment to wildlife conservation. Together, they had two children, Bindi and Robert Irwin, who grew up in the vibrant environment of Australia Zoo. 
From a young age, both Bindi and Robert were involved in their parents' conservation work, appearing on television shows and participating in zoo activities. Today, they continue Steve's legacy with the same passion for wildlife conservation. Bindi, an accomplished wildlife conservationist, and Robert, a talented wildlife photographer, both actively work at the Australia Zoo and participate in various media projects to educate and inspire young people about the importance of protecting the natural world. Through their efforts, the spirit of Steve Irwin lives on, demonstrating the enduring power of his message and the impact one family could make on the world's conservation efforts. As we say goodnight, let's remember Steve Irwin not just for his fearless encounters with wildlife, but for his boundless enthusiasm and dedication to making the world a better place for all living beings. May your dreams be filled with the spirit of adventure and deep love for the natural world, just like the crocodile hunters. And before we drift off to the land of dreams, we kindly ask you to share the magic of bedtime time travels with a 5 star rating and a positive review. Your support helps us share these stories with more listeners, continuing our journey through time and around the globe. Good night, young time travelers. May your dream of vast landscapes, wild adventures, and the courage to protect a planet's precious wildlife, inspired by the legendary Steve Irwin, the Crocodile Hunter.